the kata to worship Pla Tafian, the fish amulet. Legend has it that the Pla Tafian, the wealth fish, was the reincarnation of Bodhisattva to accumulate merits and virtue. Pla Tafian has a hidden philosophy of perseverance, like a fish that always swims upstream and symbolizes good luck. In Chinese terms, fish represent vitality and good fortune. It is often popular to raise fish in the direction of things that bring good fortune to the homeowner or the workplace. The Secrets of Making Amulets in Ancient Times They often use objects with the same sound or similar to the word's meaning. For example, a good way or promise believes that jackfruit wood will help support fortunes, gooseberry wood will make people popular, etc. In the case of this carp, it also has sound, and it is believed that it will give the house's owner a happy life. The influence of carp emphasizes the power of kindness in trading, incredible luck, great fortune, and hidden and moral teachings for people to live their lives honestly, living charitably with perseverance like a fish that is never standing still and looking for food all the time. Plotafian usually has a few forms, yant cloth, plants, wooden sheets, metal, currency notes, etc. The intellectual creation of this carp was a good thing in ancient times. Nowadays, carp amulets are rarely seen because they are simple amulets that do not have a flashy effect like Kumon Thong or other amulets for riches and wealth. But the carp will penetrate profoundly and as wide as water. The magnates in the old days were able to build rich bodies because of consuming fish. Some people become millionaires unexpectedly. The appearance of creating carp of each master is different according to the era. In the past, Pla Taffy and Yant cloth was famous by handwritten mantras. Popular paired with silver and gold carp is a metaphor that means living a married life and working together in the profession or drawing a picture of a silver or gold fish decorated in houses or shops to solve feng shui for abundance in wealth and money. The prehistoric master monks used to generate a lot of carp to make for their devotees or disciples to worship. To inspire trade and agility, the monks then created the fish amulet. The power of the carp is overflowing with mercy and business which a famous since the Ratanikasan period. It was made of bronze, lacquered, and covered with gold. It is not beautiful, but it's magical. Use them to pray and worship for trade and livelihood. The silver, and gold carp that rituals have consecrated, should be placed. Numbered characters by hanging them in the right place or hanging them like with side dock sap in the middle of the ceiling or front of the shop, and let it will turn. Every morning, worship by taking a bowl of holy water to soak the fish. Facing the fish with each other, Sprinkle the sacred water and pray for blessings according to your heart's desire. Merchandise to be sold or carpeted throughout the store. The ancient people in central Thailand invented Pla Tafian. The Pla Tafian are made in Ayutthaya province and become handicrafts and goods sold to tourists. It is said that offering food for the fish must be made in some places. The appearance of creating carp of each master is different according to that era. Just name a few. The carp of Luang Por Derm, Wat Nong Pho, a monk who is famous for creating doctor's knives, and Nong Kwok. They are rare as well. Square shape, the fish is in the middle, ready to drill a hole for a hanging loop. Amulets of millionaires worship and get rich suspiciously. The golden carp, the great fortune of Luang Por Mui, Wat Don Rai. The monk who has the magic of Supan Buri. The carp has also been made of gold. The fish looks agile and proportional, with a slight smile, on its body without any scales. But tied as a talisman on both sides of the body, it seems empty, not cluttered, beautiful in another way. The power to say in one word is no worries. Silver carp of Luang Forte, what some gum, the top monk famous who make Kumon Thong of Nakon Patom. He also created some carp. But very few people get to own it. The shape of the Pla Tafian amulet is similar to Reverend Father Chong's, but the tip of the mouth is upturned like Archon Hang's fish. The tail of the fish has a prickly appearance. Beautiful, it is unique that is not seen anymore. Luong Pu Tim Carp of that current era. What Pra Kao is number one, the great billionaire carp, Todd Cotton series, of what Lo Suthawat, Ang Thong province. They rely on the magic of their fish amulets. Gradually collecting and accumulating together with creating money to grow, 
similar to young fish that often increase in flocks. Relying on the carp is an inspiration to persevere, like the fish's name. Now let us chant the preliminary prayer. Before chanting to any Thai Buddhist statue or amulet, first chant three times of this initial mantra. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddharsa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Katha bhusha pratapian. Namamima. This is a short kata to recite. It is a short incantation that is easy to remember. It would be best if you repeated the kata as stated below to achieve wealth and prosperity. When praying on Sunday, repeat five times. Monday, repeat fifteen times. Tuesday, repeat eight times. Wednesday, repeat seventeen times. Thursday, repeat 19 times. Friday, repeat 21 times. And Saturday, repeat 10 times. Recite the mantra of Namo Tassa three times in the beginning before chanting the kata. <laughs> 